friends, I'm Jennifer from Decor Sauce and it is Christmas and so today I'm going to be talking to you about how I style and wrap the presents underneath my Christmas tree. So last year I released a tutorial on how to decorate your Christmas tree like mine is behind me and so if you haven't seen that be sure to check it out because there's some good tips on there about how to make your tree look kind of glam like this one is here. But the biggest takeaway that I said on that one and I'll say on this one is that I do the majority of my ornaments in the silvers and the golds and the mixed metals that are all neutral. And then I just add a hit of color with whatever matches in my living room. So right now, currently, the only color that I have in my living room is a light blush pink and a little bit of navy blue. So I just use uh, a couple of blush ornaments here and there on my tree and it completely ties into the look that I live with year round. If I can decorate my tree with colors I can live with in my house, then I can stand having it set up for longer. So as we get closer to Christmas and you begin to think about your wrapping this year, I would encourage you to take a look at the decorations that you have in your home and also the decorations that you've used in your tree and kind of pick a couple of colors from the decorations that you have and use those for your packages under your tree. It'll just make your tree look more cohesive and a prettier look overall. So this is how I store all my boxes for my wrapping. And as you can see, they're just in a milk crate and all the sizes are filed together here. And my family is really good about preserving our boxes from one year to the next. So when I wrap their packages in these boxes, most of them will be still intact for next year and I just fold them back up and store them back up again. I feel better about the trash and the recycling and all that when we just reuse the boxes. Plus it saves a lot of money and so that's always good too. And then next thing I have a little tissue paper and my wrapping papers. And as you can see, I have several different kinds. None of my papers match, but they all go and they all add up to this beautiful, um, dimensional, textural uh, display underneath my Christmas tree. It's really beautiful. So that's just what I use. And then most of my packages are gonna end up looking something like this. And that's what most of them will look like. All different though. All the ribbon will be different. All the wrapping paper will be different. And for the wrapping for today, I pulled out a few different kinds of ribbon. Here they are. And I have lots of different varieties. And so all of these will be mixed and matched on all the different wrapping papers, depending on what looks the best and what goes the best. These wrapping techniques are really easy to complete. You can do it in just a couple of extra seconds that it would take you to wrap a normal gift. So um, even though it's, it's, it, it looks beautiful and professional underneath your Christmas tree, it really doesn't take a lot of extra effort. We're gonna put our package upside down so that the seam will run along the bottom of the, the present. And then after we figure out exactly where we want our paper, like this, we're going to just fold this edge over so we get a nice clean line. by the video it was super simple to complete this and I just basically tied a basic ribbon on the top and it just looks so pretty and festive even though it's super simple and easy to do now if you are one of those people that have a more elaborate bow technique feel free to use that on top of your package for me this is fast and good enough now sometimes I'll layer the ribbon and go crosswise on both sides and I vary it up between from package to package so as far as the tag goes you can use something simple like something like this. I always put my tags on the bottom of the package though, because I don't want them to show if I use something like this. If you use something that's a little bit more beautiful, like this, like this large one, then feel free to attach it to the ribbon and put it on the front of the box. So here's another quick tip for you when styling your Christmas tree. So let's say you have a family member from out of state or somebody that sends your family packages and they don't match the look that you wanna go for under your tree. That's totally fine. What I do is I have a beautiful storage container. 
that's a faux fur. It's really cute. And I just put all the packages that don't match my tree in there and then I store them underneath the tree. Now a clothing item. Grab a box that'll fit the item that you're going to be wrapping. Tissue paper. This is very important to make the gift feel very luxurious when your recipient opens it up. Two sheets. Lay it inside your box and grab it by the middle and fold it until it's the size of the box. Just like that. Press your tissue down inside. Remove any price tags on your item. Fold your item to fit inside the box. And lay your item inside. Take a different coordinating paper. professional wrappers do that you might want to think about if you're interested in doing it to this extreme is they will match up the pattern of their paper so like this one is a repeat pattern and they will actually match the seam up to the other side of the paper and I just don't I don't do it that I'm not that crazy about my paper but keep that in mind if you really want it to look professional like if it were somebody that you were trying to impress you would want to try to match up those seams so that the paper just looks continuous and the other thing I thought about when I was doing this was two things you will really thank me for. One is having an extremely sharp pair of scissors that you only use for cutting paper and keep them separately with your wrapping paper if you want to. That'll save them from one year to the next so that you can just glide through the paper with the scissors without having to make a mess of the paper. And the second thing is a super heavy tape dispenser. So. Here is mine and I'll post the link to it below because it's so awesome. It has both the one inch roll of tape and the three inch roll of tape. So if you're doing a packing box, you can use it um, for that or just regular wrapping, but it's super heavy. And so you can yank off a piece of tape with one hand and you don't have to hold the tape dispenser. And that really saves you a lot of time and frustration when you're wrapping, even if you're not doing it beautifully, even if you're just wrapping gifts. So again, I'll post the links to that below. And as you can see, I folded all of the edges so there's no raw edges of paper, even on the edges I did on the sides. And that just gives it a really nice professional look and something you'd be proud to give to anybody. And now for the bow. This one is a rose gold glitter, or it's cross between champagne and rose gold. It's not super pink. And that one will look fabulous on this package. ribbon I tied up the middle of the package and it was because it was a little bit of ribbon left on an old bolt that was used up and this was just what was left and fit better without wasting a lot of ribbon this way and instead of the other way and it just gives the package a little bit more interest and a different way that I can lay it under the tree so get creative with your ribbon there's no exact science to this it's just it's just something that makes it look a little prettier than normal and your gift recipient can also just untie this ribbon and use it for next year for something on one of their packages if they want to save it. All my ribbons have wire in the in the edges of them and that just makes it so that you can style them however you want. Don't worry when you're when you're first putting them on the package they will crumple up and look a mess but they come right back when you just play with them a little and then however you style them on the package they'll stay that way till Christmas. Now if I have two gifts of approximately the same size for the same person Oftentimes, I'll wrap them in coordinating with different papers and then I'll tie a ribbon and put them together. Like these two are very similar, so, and they're for the same person, so I might consider attaching the two with tape in between and then tying one ribbon around them both.
away, like these pieces right here, I save back to use for smaller packages. And when I'm done wrapping, I probably use about 90% of all the pieces of wrapping paper that I have left. displayed beautifully under the tree and I'll show that to you. I'll give you a detailed shot of that in just a moment. But there was one last tip that I wanted to share with you before I wrap the video and that is what to do with these tiny little packages that you may have. These are gifts for my girlfriends and so I have several of them and they don't attach to a larger package. So the way I've um, displayed them under my Christmas tree is to put them all together in a little sleigh that I found here. And I'll find a similar one on Amazon and I'll post the link below if you can't find one locally. But it just looks really cute underneath the Christmas tree. You could do a galvanized one or whatever. And it keeps your little gifts corralled so they don't get lost in the fray underneath your tree. So that is the last tip for wrapping your packages for a holiday or Christmas. I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my new content. And if there's anything um, that I use that you're curious about, I will be sure to source them and post them in the links below so you can find them really easily. I really hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a happy DIY. Thanks for watching.